In this video, we will discuss most frequently asked plant pathology questions in ICARJRF, SRF, ASRB NET, BHUPET and IET and other pre-PG exams. So please see this video till the end. This is the sixth part. If you have not seen the previous five parts, please go to the description section. Link is given there or you may click on the i button. So hello friends. Welcome to my channel, Plant Pathology Patsala. I am Jumishri Meher, PhD scholar from Banara Sindhu University. So let's start today's questions. First one is, causal agent of false murtab rice is? So the answer is D. Astilagonoidy virens. Astilla gonoidy virens. This is the imperfect stage or asexual stage of the fungus. The sexual stage or the perfect stage is Villociclava virens. Okay. Let's discuss the symptom of false metaprise. Here, the individual grain will transform into a mass of yellow fruiting bodies or of velvety spores. Okay. So here you can see the yellow fruiting bodies are there in the place of the grains. Okay. But here few grains in a panicle are usually infected by this fungus. Rest of the grains are in normal condition. Generally false mud or rice occur when the moisture condition or humidity condition is high during the grain filling stage. Okay. If heavy rain occur during the grain filling stage or flowering stage then this disease will mostly occur. So this is all about the false mud of rice. Next question is which disease is the main cause of the great Bengal famine? So the answer is C. Brown spot. It is also known as Heliminthosporosis or Sisan spot. The causal organism is Dretzsclera oryzae. Previously it was called as Helminthosporium oryzae but it is now renamed as Dretzsclera oryzae. That is the asexual stage of the fungus that is producing the conidia or the asexual spore. Whereas the perfect stage or the sexual stage is Cochleobolus miabinus. Okay. This is a seed borne disease and the disease outbreak in Bengal was occurred in 1942 which caused up to 90% yield loss of rice and it leads to the Bengal famine in 1943. So the great Bengal famine occurred in 1943 due to the fungus Cochleobolus miavinus or the Dretzsclera oryzae that is causing the brown spot of rice. Here you can see small brownish spots are there but when this spot will grow older this is surrounded by a yellow halo and the center, center portion will become grays or ash color which is surrounded by a brownish margin. Okay. So this is the symptom of brown spot of rice. The symptom can occur in any part of the plant except the root part. Okay. The next question is who was regarded as reconstructor of mycology? So the answer is A. Tulasne. L. R. Tulasne. He is famous for his monumental work that is Selecta Fungorum Cryptologia that is written in Latin language. He is generally the credit, he is credited for his work on basic evolutionary idea of the polymorphism in fungi. So the polymorphism in fungi was given by the scientist L. R. Tulasne. Okay. So he, that's why he is regarded as reconstructor of mycology. The next question is, 
Fusarium wilt of banana is also termed as So the answer is A. Panama wilt This is a soil borne disease caused by a fungus that is the Fusarium oxysporum forma species cubans. It was first diagnosed in Panama region. That's why this disease is called as Panama wilt. The fungus enters the plant through the root and it will colonize in the xylem vessel. Thereby, it blocks the flow of water and nutrients and resulting in the wilting of plants. So here you can see the infection of the fungus fusarium in the xylem vessel and which results the wilting of plant. So this is about the Panama wilt. Next question is ELISA technique was discovered by So the answer is A. Wohler this is a very advanced technology. ELISA full form is enzyme linked immunosorbent assay. This is a biochemical technique used to detect the antibodies or infectious agent in a sample. Generally, it is used to detect the virus. Next question is loose matter weight is an. So the answer is. B. Internally seed borne disease. Loose moth weed is caused by the fungus Astilago nuda triticae. This disease was first reported in India in 1953 by Luthra. This is a very infectious disease. So the entire grain will convert it into loose black mass or loose, loose sooty mass. Okay. Here in this photo you can see this grain will convert it into black powdery mass that is called as loose mud. This is a very infectious disease and a systemic disease. For the control of the loose mud, systemic fungicide can be used like the white wax. Okay. Next question is coach postulate are given by So the answer is D. Robot coach. So there are four postulates are there. I will give you some important notes about this or important terms so that you can remember all these four postulates easily. So four terms are association, then isolation, then inoculation and fourth one is the re-isolation. So in the first, first postulate, the pathogen must be associated with the disease. It means whenever this disease is occurring, means that pathogen must be there. Okay. The next, the second one is the isolation. Isolation means that pathogen must be isolated from the disease sample. Okay. It must be isolated and it must be cultured in a artificial media. Then third point is inoculation. Inoculation means the pathogen will be mass multiplied and when it will inoculate it into a healthy susceptible host, the symptom must be developed. Symptom of that particular disease must be developed. Okay. So this is the third one. Then fourth one is re-isolation. Re-isolation means after the inoculation of the pathogen or the artificial inoculation of the pathogen, that pathogen must be re-isolated from the diseased portion. Okay. So, these are the four postulates of course postulate. Okay. The next question is, bacterial cell wall is mainly composed of? So, the answer is B. Peptidoglycan. The bacterial cell wall consists of a different type of the polysaccharide that is known as the peptidoglycan. Okay, this 
molecule is specific to the bacteria only whereas this chitin present in the fungal cell wall and glucan also plays present in the fungal cell wall and cellulose is the exceptional material that is present only in the some group of fungi like the oomycetes group of fungi and it is generally present in the cell wall of the plants okay peptidoglycan is also known as muramic acid i have already uploaded a separate video on the cell wall or the envelope of bacteria if you want to know detail about this please go to the playlist of bacteria okay you will get all idea about this next question is fungi and plant diseases book written by So the answer is B. B. Mundakur. He is a very well-known mycologist or plant pathologist of India. He has written a book that is Fungi and Plant Diseases. Next question is, who is the father of plant pathology in India? So the answer is C. Edwin John Butler or the E. J. Butler. Okay. He was known as the father of plant pathology in India. Next question is. Viroy was first discovered by. So the answer is C. T. O. Diner. So the Viroy are first discovered by. T.O. Diner in 1971. Viroid are smallest infectious pathogen known. It is composed of a short strand of circular single stranded RNA. Okay. So different nucleotides are there and it is only consists of the circular single stranded RNA. The protein code or the capsid is absent. Okay, it do not code for any protein or mRNA. It depends on the host cellular machinery. Whereas prion, prion means infectious protein, infectious protein. So the prion is the only proteinaceous agent which causes the disease. It does not contain any type of RNA or DNA. It is only the infectious protein is there, okay. So, prion is the protein whereas viroid is the single standard RNA. Okay. It does not contain any type of protein. Next question is. Late blight of potato pathogen produce which type of resting spore? So, the answer is D. O spore. So, O spore is the resting spore or the sexual spore produced by the method of gametangial contact. Means two gametangia or two sex organ that is the male is the antheridium and female is the ovonium. So, when they will come in contact with each other, they will form a fertilization tube in between them and through that tube, the male nucleus will transfer into the female sex organ and they will fuse to form the oospore or the zygote. So this oospore is formed in the phytophthora infestans or late blight pathogen. It is consists of the outer layer that is exine and inner layer is intine. Okay. Then the teleospore are produced in the basidiomycetes fungi, then zygospores produced in zygomycetes fungi, and ascospores are produced in ascomycetes fungi. So these are some different type of sexual spore or resting spore produced in different types of fungi. Okay. Next question is, tetric acid is present in cell wall of? So the answer is A. Gram positive bacteria. Tetric acid is a chemical compound that is present only in the cell wall of 
gram positive bacteria not in gram negative or the acid fast bacteria so when the stachyic acid is anchored from the cytoplasmic membrane which contain lipid and protein so from the lipid layer it is anchored so this is called as lipotachyic acid this stachyic acid helps in the transport of mem some molecules across the cell wall okay so it acts as some carrier like compound okay so this is about the tachyic acid next question is thickness of cell wall of gram positive bacteria varies from so the answer is d 20 to 80 nanometer based on the thickness of cell cell wall this gram positive bacteria and gram negative bacteria can be differentiated as we all know that the bacterial cell wall is consist of a polysaccharide that is the peptidoglycan or the muramic acid so the cell wall of the bac gram positive bacteria in gram positive bacteria the peptidoglycan layer or the cell wall is in multi layer condition means more than one layer of peptidoglycan is present and the cell wall is very thick that is the thickness is 20 to 80 nanometer in size whereas the cell wall of gram negative and the acid fast bacteria it contain a very thin layer of peptidoglycan or a single layer of peptidoglycan so its thickness is very small and it varies from 1 to 10 nanometer in size so based on the thickness of cell wall the gram positive gram negative and acid fast bacteria can be differentiated if you want to know more about this please see my previous videos on the cell envelope of bacteria okay you will get clear idea about how this classification was given okay so this is all about the bacterial cell wall so this is the end of this video if you found this video useful for you please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe my channel if you want to connect me in instagram and facebook please see the description section link is given there thank you for watching this video